Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to filter a list to find unique entries. In other words, if you have a list or a column with all sorts of different data in it, all sorts of different text fields, and you want to find out how many different things were in that list, here are three strategies that you can use. Here's an example. In this data set, I've got three columns. I've got unique ID numbers, cities where people are from, and states. And this list comes from a list of conference attendees. So we want to see how many different states were represented at this conference. There are three strategies you can use to find all of the unique states. The first is just a good old fashioned filter. So go up to row one, click on the one to highlight that first row. On your home tab, just go over to the right hand side until you see sort and filter and click on filter. Now you've got these nice little arrows right here and you can click on one and you see a list of all of the different states that were represented. It's actually a lot of different states so if you wanted to know how many were in that list I mean you could tally it by hand and just count one, two, three, four but that might be kind of time consuming and you might make a mistake. So that's where the other two strategies come in. The second strategy is to use a pivot table to see how many different states are represented. So to insert a pivot table, just go to the upper left hand corner in your data table. So in this case it's cell A1, click on A1 and go to insert, click on pivot table. When you get this pop-up menu, or the pop-up window, excuse me, just click OK. And to see how many states there are, just go over to the right hand side where you see this list of variables and drag state down into row labels. That gives you a list of all of the different states. To see how many there are, you could just simply highlight this list. And you can see that there are 35. You could even add cities if you wanted to, to play around at this pivot table. Just drag city down underneath state. And you can see that the cities are uh, nicely kind of put in that hierarchy in the pivot table. To see how many people came from each state, you would take the unique ID number, drag it down into values. You have to do uh, one small adjustment. So right now it's summing the ID number. We need it to counter tally the ID number. So just click on this arrow, go to field settings, and instead of a sum, we want to count. Now we can see that there were nine people from Arkansas, 38 people from California, and so on. The third strategy is to use advanced filters. So let's go back to our original data set here. These are our regular filters. And advanced filters are a very, very nice feature of Excel. They're located under the data tab at the top. So here are those filters we had before. This is just another way to find that same icon. You can click or unclick as many times as you want. Advanced filters is right here. So this allows us to take everything that's in column C, all the different states that are listed, and filter out just the unique records. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this list, everything that's in column C, to a different column. And we only want column C. So I'm just going to adjust that manually, C1 through C550. I'm going to copy it to, let's say, column E. And I only want the unique records. Click OK. We have to scroll up so we can see them. And there's a list of unique states that were represented. So again, you can just highlight them to see how many or you could alphabetize them, 35 different states. So there you go, three different strategies for finding unique entries in your list. If you'd like to download this spreadsheet and try it for yourself, you can download it for free at ankemory.com. Thank you.